What is going on guys? It's Oswald from Kamaji, whatever floats your boat, and today, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to all you guys. Very special day. I, myself, had a very fantastic day so far. I'm actually really excited because I get to go watch Rogue One today. Held it off. Held watching Rogue One off, so that already took a lot. And the entire plan was today, watch it with my entire family. We all watch Star Wars, because we all love Star Wars to death. We love Star Wars. Grew up, had lightsabers, hit a bunch of people, hit my brothers all the time with the lightsabers. Grew up on that, okay? Very ecstatic for Star Wars. Haven't watched it, by the time this goes up, I'm gonna be a changed man. Funny enough, oldest brother already watched Star Wars, which is absolutely crazy, and there's people outside walking outside my office. What do you want? No. Kind of pisses me off because he already watched it, but what can you do? I don't blame him. I was about to watch Star Wars Rogue One in Chicago, but held it off. Did what I could. Did what I could. Funny though, yesterday was one of the most weirdest Christmas Eves I've ever had because I slept the entire day and night. I was like sick, okay? I threw up, and then as soon as I threw up, I didn't think I was ever gonna throw up, especially on Christmas Eve. I yacked everywhere. And as soon as I was like, okay, I feel a little bit better, I'm just gonna snooze out. And I don't know what's been, I must have been sick or something like that. It must have been bound to happen because these past couple days, I've been in my bed, like fully clothed on, like hoodie, sweatpants, socks, sleeping with socks on, already really weird if you do that. They're already a little weird on my books. I was literally shivering and sweating with like two layers of blankets on me, also fully clothed, okay? So that alone should probably tell you where I was at those couple days. I, I feel a lot better now. My mom noticed the Raiders like, Austin, how are you feeling? And I was like, oh, mom, I don't feel like death anymore. Funny, because I was sleeping all day and then we had Christmas dinner on Christmas Eve, so it was Christmas dinner. Went downstairs, slept, woke up, had Christmas dinner, Went upstairs, looked at my bed, looked at my bed. I was like, okay, this is weird. This is, this is bad. This is gonna be bad. And then I just felt it. I was like, okay, all right. Something about this is going wrong. Walked to the bathroom. Boom, yacked all over the toilet and over a bunch of nice socks. Felt really bad. Didn't think that was ever gonna happen. But. You guys are wondering what I got for Christmas. Duh. What? Go Canada. Huh. I've always wanted like Canadian mittens. I need more Canadian stuff, so people, these are like my favorite mittens now. Plus, got some fresh shoes. These are just one of them though. Uh, I think these are the Mambas or something like that. I don't know, you guys are gonna criticize me on my shoe game, but I don't give a fuck. Got a bunch of socks. Grandma came in with the socks, came in clutch. She knows, they all know. Every single year that passes by, your appreciation for socks infinitely goes up. And this time I got chocolates, socks. I was gonna try it, so chocolates, socks, and money for my grandma, a teddy bear for my great grandma, sweatpants and a bunch of other stuff from my mom, and then brother brother Zach got me Pokemon. Christmas presents everywhere. Great time. I'm more thankful to just be around all the family though, honestly. I miss them, miss them a lot. It's actually been four months since I've been back home and it, everything changes a lot, but you know, I come back I come back home for the people and every time I just see more, so you see more familiar faces that I grew up with, it just makes me feel hella happy. But let, let me know what you guys got for Christmas. Use this time to spend all the time you can with your family and friends and just have some good holiday cheer and good vibes. If, I know you guys are actually wondering where's the Christmas montage and this year, I, I wasn't really paying attention much to like clips at all, especially around this time of year. There's been a, I feel like I'm in a transitional period, honestly, and I do feel a little bad there's no Christmas montage this year, but you know, who's to say that there can't be another montage coming out soon? Who knows, maybe I just gave something. It's been a while since I made a montage, which is surprising. Anyway, sorry for the lack of vlogs these past few days. This camera right here is the normal camera I use. Everything's on there, except the Rode mic. The Rode mic is actually broken. Pretty sure the Rode mic, oh, what do you have it? This Rode mic, broken. Not sure what to tell you. It's not, not physically broken, but something is broken. Every time I plug it into this camera, it just says, sorry, but I wanna work. See ya. I have a bunch of videos I want to do, okay? I have a lot of videos and they all revolve around this camera and this setup rig with the microphone and everything. It all revolves around this. It's all, it all revolves around this camera. And it's so bad that this thing had to break right before coming here. I thought it was going so well, honestly. I actually got an iPhone 7 as well. This was actually supposed to be given to me like a month or two ago, but this wasn't for Christmas. My mom actually got me this and it's still in the box and everything. Still have yet to set it up. No, I'm not giving it away. Good joke, you guys thought I was giving this away, what? This year though, for Christmas, I had a lot more fun giving than receiving, and I also received a lot of great gifts, like, like, come on. Like, mom, great sweatpants. 
sweatpants. Like, my mom's over here getting my brother's, like, work boots and all that, and I'm perfectly, perfectly content with sweatpants. She knows. She knows, like, a, a gamer's sweatpants are, like, their work pants. Okay, realize this. The huge benefits of sweatpants for people that sit down for very long, copious amounts of time. If you wear jeans or anything like that, you guys will know that the creases in those pants, okay, in the jeans or whatever, they will eventually start to hurt, okay? If you sit along long periods of time, that's why a lot of see, that's why you see a lot of people change into either sweatpants or something else on planes because they're sitting down for such a long amount of time. It'll, it'll, it will eventually, like, you'll, you'll get sore and then you'll, people will have to get up. Some people don't want to get up though, aka me, not trying to get up. I sit down on my chair for long copious amount of time editing and playing games and doing what I got to do, okay? So, sweatpants or my work pants. Thank you, Mom. Before any crazy hockey fans come at me for this Bruins hoodie, Get off my sack! Backstory, Bobby Orr is from my hometown, Perry Sound, and I, he is like that guy to me. He is, he is the hometown hero. I grew up playing defense all my life and play, making my play style of hockey based around him, like how you just rush up and be like an offensive defensive. It was like awesome back in the day. He would just like skate up and down, just dangle, just fucking going through, cause he could. That's why I got this. As soon as I walked into this new game and like hobby shop that was in Perry Sound and I saw this, I was like, wow, I need that. This looks dope. It's fresh. Need this in my life. And then I took a picture with him. People were like, dude, is that a Bruins hoodie? Like, dude, what the fuck's wrong with you, dude? You know, it's just a hoodie. Relax, bro. Like, it's fresh. I'm warm. Don't you care if I'm warm or not? I'm gonna end this video off. I have a bunch of cool stuff, and as soon as I get this road mic, I have the GoPro ready, I have everything ready, I have like a chest harness ready, I have a head mount ready, it's gonna be awesome. I can't wait to make these videos, and these next couple days, I'm gonna get a new road mic. In fact, before anyone says, ah, lazy ass kid listening to Hector, shoulda listened to Hector, shoulda got two other road mics, get off his sack. Suddenly you have hindsight because of what Hector said. <laughs> Anyone could have hindsight on the internet. Anyone can. It's easy. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. If you guys really did leave a favorite comment, it's for you subscribing. Hope you guys have an awesome Christmas. Be sure to tweet me out what you guys got for Christmas. Hope you guys got everything you wanted. And just overall, the meaning of Christmas is just appreciate all the times because Christmas literally brings everyone together. And I've pretty much lived. I moved out of my home probably about two, like two years ago, I'd say. And you know, every single Christmas, I appreciate it a lot more. And if you're still if you're still, if you if you're still living with your parents and all that, just just know, just if this is like if this is like the last year that you might be living with your parents and then you're moving out to college or whatever, then this is gonna be the year that it, it should make you realize how much to really appreciate the time. So I'm off to the Kamashi, whatever floats your boat. I will see up some gorgeous faces later.